Hi, my name is Richard. I've just bought a Artec ACDC 161 uh, TIG welder. Uh, and I'm going to unbox it and we'll find out what it comes with and my first impressions of it. Uh, I've never had a TIG welder before. I've had a stick welder which I didn't really get along with. I've had it for a few years. Um, mostly bought it to fabricate things for my car, which a stick welder doesn't. It's not really suited to fabricate little things out of sheet metal, like header tanks or brackets and stuff like that. Uh, so I've been considering buying. TIG welder so it can make stuff out of aluminium. Probably for about a year, about a year now I've been considering buying one. Um, finally got, came to my senses and bought one. <laughs> uh, okay, let's unbox it. Okay, so I've opened the box very heavy by the way. I was pretty much out of breath carrying it from my front door uh, to the kitchen where I am. Just got to unbox it in the kitchen. I'll set it up in my garage uh, at a later date. I'll probably make a video of setting it up as well if you're interested. Okay. The reason I'm making this video by the way is because I, you know, I've been looking for around about a year to find, to get a TIG welder. Um, couldn't really find much information on this particular model, um, especially on YouTube. So I thought I'll make a video. Uh, maybe it'll help some of the people in the future. Uh, but I ordered it from uh, Artec directly yesterday. Uh, it came today, which is really good. Um, I, I used the 0% uh, interest uh, credit for 6 months to buy it. Uh, I don't usually do, don't really usually like taking credit out, but it's quite expensive and that will spread the cost and it doesn't cost me any extra to do that anyway, so it's a bit of a no-brainer. Okay, let's uh, get that unwrapped and have a look at all this stuff and the mystery box. Okay, I've unwrapped the main thing. A quick look at the front. Uh, first thing I noticed, it doesn't have a, uh, a mains, mains plug on the end of the cable. Uh, you got your regular three uh, wide mutual and earth ground or whatever. Uh, the reason I got this one over any other one, I was looking at one of those cheap Chinese ones for a while. They're probably about half the price of this one, really. Uh, but they required at least 16 amps. This one apparently will run from the normal 13 amp uh, plug, which is really good for me because I'm going to be using it in my garage where I've not really got a lot of power. Usually just running really an extension cord from the house. Um, all the knobs. You know, I've read a little bit about what the features do. Um, I don't know exactly everything at the moment, obviously. Um, it does have uh, pulse and the AC balance and AC frequency, which uh, I think are important if you're going to weld on the mic I plan to. Um, so from what I've what I've read is you know it's quite it's got quite a few of the features that you want. Um, down here, positive, uh, negative, they look to be the same. They look to be the same kind of connector. So I think you can switch those around. Uh, we've got the gas outlet and that'll cover on the torch control. It's got. 
five pins, six pins, three, four, five, six, seven pins. Can't count. Um, I bought some, uh, worried about a, a nine litre, uh, I don't know what you call it, a canister of argon gas uh, that I'm going to use with it. Um, can't remember where I bought it from, but I'll, I'll leave a link below. Um, it cost about £100, uh, £50 pounds deposit, and uh, £35 pounds for a refill plus the VAT, it cost about £100. Pounds. Um, okay, I'll turn this around and we'll have a look at the back of it. Right, okay. So, I've never seen the back of this before, I couldn't find any information on it. It's got a, a detailed chart here, voltages, amperages. Uh, I'll have to read into that later. Got a fuse. It's got a normal kettle lead. I think that's an output. So you can run something else from the same supply. And it has circuit breakers. Yeah, this is 4000 amps. Uh, I'm not really sure why you need a fuse and two circuit breakers, but. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to this maybe when I'm sitting here when I've read all about it. And what we've got, we've got down here, we've got appears to be a ground connection, a gas inlet, and the, the power supply. Which is the same cable that doesn't have the uh, plug socket on it. I have to get uh, one of those from DNK or somewhere. See if I've got a spare one. Okay, now I'll sort out these bits and have a look at them. <laughs> 